gentlemen, you're welcome to another special edition of Me and You on Campus. My name is C-O-N-V-Y Canvi. For those that don't really know what the show is all about, this is where we have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with the exceptional. Today is going to be awesome because I have a special edition. Yes, so I have a special edition. You know how we always do it in a special edition. This is not the usual studio. You always, you know, you always know it's Me and You on Campus. We have a guest on the show which is no other person than Mr. Abiola, the founder of Singles Platform. Before you get to meet him, let's just go for this quick promotion break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Commercial break, like I said earlier, I have Mr. Abiola. Hello, sir. Um, good afternoon. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. I'm <laughs> okay. You're really looking good, honestly. Thank you so much. It's nice to be on your show. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. So, can we get to meet you? Well, yeah. My name is Olaiwola Abiola. Okay. I'm the founder of Singles Platform. Okay. So, tell us about your education attainment so far. Okay, fine. Well, I started out like every young. Person. Okay. I started from in primary school, a nursery school, high grade school, then I attended St. Joseph Secondary School. Okay. Then from there I proceeded to University Polytechnic, where I did business administration. Okay. That's my I understand what I have. Alright, sir. So tell us about um singles platform. Wow. Well, well singles platform is an interesting um, vision okay. that we've been running with for the this last January was exactly seven years we started. It was born out of a burden and a passion to see young people do relationship work. Okay. And for when we started out, that was January 16, 2011. Uh, what actually brought about the whole idea? Each time I leave my office, um, Edinburgh, I see a lot of young people. I see a lot of immorality. I see a lot of uh, purposelessness. I see a lot of um, young people that have great destinies, but lacking the needed direction and guidance and tutoring. And from them, my wife and I started thinking, what can we do about this? And I've come to realize that each time you have a body for something, definitely God must have supplied a solution inside of you. So we took up the, the challenge to start talking to young people, start bringing them together. So we do bring them together once every month, every third Sunday, 4 p.m. And we talk to them about relationships. Talk to them about purpose, talk to them about relationship, talk to them about finding fulfillment in life. Majorly what I've just come to discover is that there's a lot of challenge at the home front. A lot of young people from the home front don't really have the, the needed and the required, um, how do I put it, parenting, guidance and tutoring. And when they come out, whether in school, in the place of work, even in church, religious places, we've come to realize that a lot is needed to be desired in terms of the way their perspective about life, their outlook on life. And I've come to realize that if somebody will not do anything about it, sooner or later we're going to have issues in our hands. We're going to be the fathers of tomorrow, we're going to be the, uh, even the subordinating officers of tomorrow. So if you don't take care of their mindset and mentality today and get it right, and especially in the issue of relationship, because if you will help young people to find direction in how to go about a relationship. Because the way God created us, God created us to be relational beings. Um, we have these tendencies, we have this innate ability in us that we want to relate. It's a fantastic and wonderful thing the Lord has put between the male and the female gender. But if it's not well managed, just like a flame, if flame is not well managed, it can destroy. Or if flame is well managed, it can become a tool for refining, for welding, for beautiful work. The flame of fire, or fire is not well managed, can also become a tool of massive destruction. Okay, so what would you say is your inspiration to go to this and doing this and saying this kind of thing? Major inspiration for me, I'm a person that I love love. Okay. To the glory of God, I've been married for about nine years now. Wow. I'm blessed with three children. I love my wife. But I've come to realize that love being one of the most abused and the 
ill-defined world in our days and time. And if it's not well tampered with, if it's not well taken care of, if it's not well defined, a lot, a lot of, a lot of times people misconstrue what love is all about, and at the end of the day, they don't get to make the best out of it. Yeah. So for me, the major inspiration for me is love. I, I love to see people do relationship right. It's just a passion for me. Okay, so it's a passion for you. All right, guys, this is where we need to go on a very short commercial break, and we'll be right back. Hello, guys, welcome back from that um, very quick break. Um, okay, so um, how would you define relationship? Well, relationship, for me, is a very broad term. Okay. Because when we talk about relationship, life's all about relationship. There's a saying that life is life with others. But now we, we, there are different classes or levels of relationship. There's a father-son relationship, there's a mother-daughter relationship, there's a friend-to-friend relationship, and there's a relationship between a man and a woman you know, that tends towards maybe romance and things like that. So relationship is very important. But to me, relationships are, is about doing unto others the way you want it to be done unto you. It's uh, taking everyone for who they are, um, and learning to relate with them, learning to 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 stay f to, to find the middle ground because relationships have to do with different perspective of people. When people come together to relate at any different level, so to to me, relationship is all about um, getting to understand one another. Okay, this this person, this way you see this particular issue, and finding a middle ground where we can we do not necessarily need to agree on every matter. But we can always accept each other's perspective without necessarily uh, uh, altering one another. So for me, relationships is all about seeking to understand the other person, okay. effective communication, and um, trying to get the best out of one, each, other. each other. That's what I believe relationships is about. It's about adding value to, to one another. All right, sir. What are your experiences so far handling relationship matters? Wow. It's been interesting. It's been fun. <laughs> And at the same time, I also tell you it's been disappointing also. Okay. <laughs> Why do you say you've been disappointed? Yeah, because at times, I've talked as per related to okay, young people. Okay. For me, uh, you may call me old school. I've also had issues where we still had issues of someone getting pregnant outside with luck. So that's why I said it's been disappointing. But life goes on. That's not the end of any man. You can still pick up your life and, and move on. But for me, it's been interesting in the sense that getting to let people know, especially young people, that there is more to relationship between the, the male and the female gender now than romance. There's more to relationship than romance. You know, in our days and time, in the, in the modern day culture, we've come to narrow down relationship, especially between the male and the female gender, to all about romance, about touching, about sex, about uh, body contact and things like that. But there is much more. And what makes it interesting for me in the last seven years is that I've seen young people evolve. They've come to understand that there is more to life. Relationship is all about adding value. Relationships are about making the other person better. Relationships are about being there for each other. And by so doing, I've seen a lot of people come to imbibe this concept and also become a better citizen for themselves, for their for our country. And I've seen few of them grow to become married men today. So for me, that's why I say it's been both sides. Why I do not start here to condemn anybody, I understand we are different level of maturity and growth. Mr. Al, let me take you back to school. I attended Lagos State Polytechnic in Solo. Um, then, uh, that was, I finished 2006. Wow. Then, just like every other school life, but I'll tell you my own peculiar uh, experience. Those days, uh, normal school, school, school parties, um, school um, departmental days and things like that. I also belong to the to the class of those that do the, they call the triangle student anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that is the, 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 the lecture room, the library, and the fellowship. Okay. So, so it's been fun. But I'm also the type of person that also is so, uh, I'm so aware and conscious of what is happening in my environment. Mm -hmm. So school days, fun, full of fun. We, had a lot, we, we were able to, we caught a lot of, um, uh, uh, how do I put it now? During school days, it was, a, it was a beautiful experience. Okay, maybe I need to say this. It was, it was there I met my wife. 
been married, married for nine years now. I met my wife. So it's for you to know that it's not just about, uh, I was conscious of what was happening in my environment. Okay. Even though I'm the triangular student, lecture room, fellowship, library, and things like that. But I met my woman, my woman on campus. We're in, we're in the same department, same fellowship. So for me, school days was full of fun. And uh, we made it as godly as much as possible. Okay. Because I've come to realize that the school, school, school days, these are days that can either make or mark. A lot of people that are there today, they will tell you the impact of their school days. So for me, school days was the time I discovered purpose. It was the time I discovered my woman. It was the time I discovered the reason for my living. And it was during that period I also started preparing myself for it. So it was a period of learning, unlearning, and relearning. So for me, school days was not just about academics. It was an all encompassing thing for me. Exposure. I attended a lot of conferences, both academic and fellowship-related uh, conferences, both within and outside the state of my school. Okay, so were you into any activities in school? I was. I was part of the uh, the uh, our departmental okay. departmental body. I, what I department? Uh, business administration. Oh, I was okay. involved now. We call it then NABOS NABAMS, National okay. Association of Business. Study student and National Association of Business, business Administration students. Okay. So I was an if I was um, I was a member. So sir, what would you say about our moral values? Do you feel the youths have really deviated from the moral values we had before? Well, well, for me, uh, the we can see the handwriting everywhere. Okay. Moral values in our country, in our society, indeed. Mm -hmm. Indeed, as appreciated. How uh, do I put it now? We have, um, we've gone far away from what we used to be. Mm -hmm. These days, we can't find such truth and integrity anymore. Moral value, especially for for me, we are in a, in a time. That if, if possible, the government needs to declare a state of emergency. Hmm. <laughs> Morals is at is very low in our days and time. In terms of our sexual orientation, okay. in terms of our uh, uh, sexual activities among young people, mm -hmm. in terms of, in fact, what is happening generally, corruption, the kind of things we're talking about yeah. our country, because we can't separate the society and whatever happens in society from the young people, because every society is a, is a, is a, is a manifestation of what happens in every home. So uh, for me, a lot of parents have failed in this regard because the home is the first the father for example is the first role model yeah. and today this has translated into our society everywhere you go today respect is no more in those days when you're in a public bus and there's an elderly person standing mm -hmm. you know nobody needs to tell you before you do that but today someone is in the bureau ah, I paid my ticket that nobody <laughs> got you know, these are yeah. the kind of things we're talking about when you see young people the way they engage uh, elderly people today you know that indeed moral issue is at the very low in our days and time. So uh, you're trying to say that's really depreciated. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, I'm really learning a lot, especially when it comes to relationships. Before we continue, let's just go on this very short commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back from that um, very quick commercial break. Like I said earlier, we still have Mr. Abiola. <laughs> Abiola. Okay, now let's talk about relationship. Okay. Oh, okay. So, are there positive relationship or negative relationship? Well, as I said, relationship can either be positive or negative. Okay. That's a fact of life. But for me, I believe that relationship, as we normally put it, friendship is by choice, not by force. Okay. Yeah. You have every right to determine the kind of relationship you belong to. Now, let's talk about the male and the female 
relationship. We're talking about a romantic oriented relationship. Now, for me, I believe that there are a few things that should be very paramount to every lady or every young guy looking out for a relationship that would be positive. I believe no one is qualified to enter into a relationship until he or she has first of all found his or her personal purpose and is already pursuing it. Now, purpose will determine the kind of relationship, I'm talking about the love affair between a man and a woman now, that is good for you. Let me, I normally use this scenario and I would love to share with you if you don't mind. Now, if you, if somebody is coming to a place and that person is aware that I'm a laptop, just as I'm okay, figuratively okay. now, and when you enter into a place, you could find an iPhone 6, a laptop charger, okay. probably a car key. Now, because you are aware that you are a laptop, irrespective of the fact that the iPhone 6 is interesting, it's a beautiful gadget to have, it's expensive, wisdom suggests that you pick the laptop charger. Each of the, the three fantastic items on their own right. But for a laptop to function well, it does not matter how beautiful the car key is, it does not matter how nice the phone is, what will work seamlessly with the laptop is the laptop charger. So that's where purpose comes in. But when a lot of what happened to a lot of young people is that they come to a point in their life, they begin to seek relationship, they've not found themselves. And at the end of the day, they go for whatever is beautiful to be old. Now, there's nothing bad about being beautiful, don't get me wrong. But what I'm trying to say is that there's something that is more important than the physical appearance or the talent or prowess of the of the of the person you, you have tried to fall in love with. So for me, find purpose. And when you do that, it will simplify the kind of woman you're looking out there for, or the kind of man that should come into your life. So on that basis that you will accept or reject a relationship that's coming your way. Okay, what kind of relationship would you advise singles to go into? Now, when we talk about singles, there are different classes of singles in terms of their age. Now, let's talk about mature singles, those that are of um, a marriageable age. Now, for me, I believe any young person that the next obvious reality of his or her life is marriage should not look for a relationship just for the frivoli, for the frivolous things. Should look out for, as I said earlier, number one, God in the life of that person. Uh, I know our culture these days tends to put God at the background. Now, it's important that you put God first. Then number two, the purpose of that person. Then number three, character. Character is key. These days, a lot of us, we, we yell and run after charisma. For those of marriageable age, you don't have time to waste. You have a lot of, of um, things ahead of you to achieve. You need a man or woman in your life that will add value, that you can also add value to his life. Let God be number one, purpose be number two, Character number three, then genuine love. These days, and what do you know a genuine love? A genuine love is not self-seeking. A genuine love is the kind of love that wants the best for you, that wants to add value, that wants to take you to the next level of life. For those people that are not yet into that, because I don't believe in all these relationships that have no, no goal, that have no focus. I, I will encourage, I will encourage, Foster relationships, foster friendships, okay. friendship, foster platonic friendships. You know, during those periods, I remember those days when we were growing up. I, I didn't know I was going to marry my wife. She didn't know I'm going to be her husband. But we we're just friends. Okay. At that point in time, you are not trying to impress anybody. You are just being true to yourself. So foster genuine friendships, and from there, you can graduate to something more serious. So for me, look out for a man that, or a woman that is godly, a man or woman that is purpose driven, a man or woman with sound and beautiful character and watch out for this thing called love. Okay, so let's talk about um, cohabitation. You know, the name we call it on campus is Couples Life. Mm. Yeah. So what do, you, what do you feel about it? Oh, personally, I do not subscribe to Couples Life. Really? Yes, honestly, <laughs> I do not believe in it. Uh, I believe until you are married, you are not married. Mm -hmm. And I believe every lady should carry herself with so much dignity. I do not believe in sex before marriage, so cohabitation will definitely will not be part of the thing I'm going to support. I would like to advise and encourage every young lady out there, and young guy too, that um, there's time and season for everything in life. 
The time to school is the time to find destiny, to find purpose, to find direction. And I know as you journey through school time also, you also come across it, the guy or the lady, maybe a woman of your dream. But it's also important that you learn to do things right. Do the cohabiting, that sex will not be involved. Or do you think that's possible? No, uh, it might be possible, you know. <laughs> well, why tempt yourselves? <laughs> why? For me, we, we, we can foster good relationships. This is one of the things we're talking about, about morality. Okay. You know, God are those days that uh, people believe so much in virginity. These days they will tell you that virginity is not dignity but absence of opportunity. But that is so far from the truth. Virginity is still dignity. Have you made a mistake before? Fine. But why must you continue in that mistake? especially to the ladies. Most of the time, they don't, eventually they don't end up getting married. Even if they should get married, that does not speak well. As for me, cohabitation is a no-no. Okay. <laughs> believe in dignity, doing relationship with dignity. Every lady should so carry herself with dignity. And when, they, when the, the time is right for marriage, you get married, be dignified. Okay. But the lady that are Everything that married people do, you've done it before marriage. So there's, not, that, there's no, nothing to look up to. That's why I see such relationships, I mean, dating for years, and the lady will be expecting the guy to propose. Mm -hmm. Three years, not Three really. years, five <laughs> years, seven years. I don't, why will he propose? He's already seen it all. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing to look forward to. So for me, cohabitation is a no no. Okay. Take your time. From me to you, my advice would be number one, Take God seriously. I'm sorry to bust the book, but I will say this. These days and time, people don't want to hear about anything about God. Take God seriously. Number two, find the reason why you are living. You are here for a purpose. Number three, foster good relationships around you. Friends that will have value to you. Somebody said, and I, and I believe so much in what he has said, that you are a submission of the closest people to you and the information and knowledge available to you. So, especially for young people on campus, this is the time of your life. The youthful season is one of the most, if it's the most fertile. So this is the time to find God, find purpose, find good relationship, because life is life with others. And when you do all this and you're prayerful, the sky is not your limit but your starting point. Thank okay, you. um, so Sadi, you have a social media platform that people can actually use? Yes, um, I'm a social media uh, on Facebook. Ola media, Ola wola biola. And what and distinguished stuff I was, we we're talking about earlier on. We are singles and couples platform on Instagram and on Facebook. All right, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. I for really appreciate you, thank sir. You so much. I appreciate All right. This time. Thank you. So guys, I really had lots of fun, you know, uh, there's nothing like when you have a tutor lecturing you about relationship, that's a very good one. And those people, warnings, those people in school, you're doing couples life, hmm, Mr. Abiela says you should come out. I feel couples life is no reasonable, so please, if you're into it, please just come out. Okay guys, this is where I got to leave and I'm sure you guys don't want to go, but um, don't worry, some other time you get to be seeing all this are special additions. So my name will be C O N V Y Canvi. So if you have any suggestion in the comment, you can just email us on our email account written down on your screen. Follow us on Facebook written down on your screen on or any other social media platform. Then you can also follow me directly on Instagram at I am underscore Canvi. So till I come your way again, stay blessed. Start with a guy. For well, then, does not pay. <laughs> okay, well, that's what everybody believes. Yes. Yeah. Many years ago, like in the past ten years, there's one passion students have. My parents don't 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 speak the language to me. Then their parents should be brought to book. Are you serious? Yeah.